Okay, I think we're entering a new arc of tournament arcs? Not really. It's like a weekly format where we're just training our demi-plane people so that they can become stronger. Tomoe actually is really cool. Whenever she's not with Makoto, when, whenever she's like with other people, she's extremely cool, charismatic, has a leadership. Part of me believes that her speeches, the way that she's able to kind of like unite everyone, they're based off of movies, ancient samurai movies that she stole from Makoto's memories. That's just my headcanon. And I think there is like two silver-haired elves that's like eyeing us as we went into the forest to get new Ambrosia mats, right? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> She's kind of cute, yeah? A, you're a pipsqueak. How is the pipsqueak calling us a pipsqueak? Is she trying to be funny? Is she actually trying to be fucking funny? I <laughs> I guess this is her quirk, huh? What's Emma doing? Huh? Oh. What are we doing? Kuzunoa Company. Oh, it's finally established. Okay. Makoto is pretty bad at public speech, huh? Tomoe's fragment. That's the same thing as petting Tomoe right there, huh? And someone said, I, I questioned, like, I, ba I basically challenged. Why does she exist, the fragment? I just, she deserves she to be just fucking cute all the time. And someone commented, no, actually, in a good way. Not, not like actually, but like actually, she is like a guardian, you know? Because like, if we're not in the demi-plane all the time, someone could invade, I'm not sure how, but in case we're not there, you know, that Tomoe's fragment. That's there to just kind of you know, protect us, so it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> She's looking like Mio right now, man. Yeah, look, look, look. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that fork is so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Feral? Eating with our hands is feral? Alright, we gotta show a little bit more love for the, the masses. Who the fuck? So their eyes, you know, the alki, basically the spiders that turn into human, you know, versions, right? But their eyes always kind of was all like pitch black to kind of symbolize that they haven't fully transitioned. I don't know. But now her eyes actually it just looks like a normal girl now. So, okay. I see. They just, they've been waifu'd even more. I see. I see. I see. Tending the woods. Is it the elves? そういえば、アルケの皆は悪に馴染めてる。はい。おかげさまで。どのが楽しいよ。オッケー、でも、あっちゲッティングプリストロン。オッケー、でも、あっちゲッティングプリストロン。オッケー、でも、あっちゲッ
How big is this demiplane? Just, just how far does this extend? It's the Great Jira Forest, but on crack. What does half a plane even mean? What, what the fuck is a plane? You need to give me a unit of measurement. A plane is a unit of measurement? The, the, the coolest thing about the demiplane is that you can just access it wherever you want. You know, it's our sanctuary. But like, it's also like, we can just like instantly enter as long as like Tomoe is there. So Tomoe sometimes just like opens up this dimensional portal that like you can just go in and out. I'm not sure if we can either. It means twice a quarter of a- That's not helpful, you motherfuckers! <laughs> How big is this? Oh, it's, it's half a plane. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, it means twice a quarter of a plane. No shit! You're giving me relative fractions?! You're fucking trolling me! Alright, our, our boy Eld is coming out. That voice does not suit you. That voice does not suit this orc, man. Right, because like we can't just get, we can't just sell these items because they don't exist, right? But again, if we have this like this, this proxy city where people come, we just give them shit and they go off. They're like, whoa, look at all this. They establish their prices. They realize how valuable it is. Then we come in with our shit and then it's like, hey, we got a lot of this. And then they all buy it up easy. Dude, Tomoe, Tomoe is like, appetite is fucking insane. I know she's like the, uh, she's like the devourer, right? She just eats up everything. But holy shit, look at the stack of plates there. I think that's CGI too. Yo, what about the elf archers? Go back to the forest. Oh? Speculation. Where'd he go? <laughs> huh? What, 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 what? So skewers are down! <laughs> I can't tell of a serious moment or if this is just fucking comedy setup. <laughs> oh, he disappeared and he's back! Uh, okay. He was, he was just training? He was just shooting arrows? But then he like disappeared and then came back and while shooting arrows, if he was doing that, control my strength, somehow controlling his mana output, maybe he like removed it somehow, complete, I, I don't know why he would want to do it, okay. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck, oh, oh, oh my god, ow. What the fuck happened? She's straight up crying. Yeah? Like, he was just shooting arrows? No? What? You've died countless times, but the dying is associated with the disappearance of his, like, aura or mana. Why? During the archery? Removes his energy? What? What? Okay, just do it. Mio has been holding this fucking pose the entire time. This is strategized, dude. Yeah! He appears to blend into surrounding. He's so focused, he just blends in. He almost like turns invisible. <laughs> Wait, what? And what? You extended your consciousness to that distant target. So I guess extending it is the point of him disappearing. His presence is gone because he's so fucking focused. He pretty much becomes one with the target. He shoots, then after it's gone, then he reconstitutes himself. Meaning the focus is gone, then he returns. Interesting that his presence just just disappears entirely, though. The fuck? People only diffuse their consciousness when they die. What? Dude, this is not like a comedy moment either. This is actually fucking really like she's crying. She she actually thought we committed suicide multiple times. Does it have to do with 
the powers that the god gave us that extends our archery powers even more? I, I don't know. <laughs> Do it again, bro. <laughs> Try it again. His mana is increasing. You know, I thought usually these shows like um you you, you just you're just OP, right? So immediately you're OP and you have these hidden powers, but you don't really know. But I thought it was like a cap. You're already at like infinite or something, but like this dude is just keep on growing. The mana keeps on growing. Oh shit. Normally, but we're an Isekai MC. Huh. He has so many rings now. I, I just realized, holy shit, I thought he, he only had one ring, which then kind of turned into like a coat, right? Like a jacket, but the jacket wasn't good enough. Bro has five fucking rings. Dude, what can like retain, like, like, like harness his energy? Yeah, the red is like the color of like extreme, you know, like if it's like saturated with mana, your extreme focus that acts similar to dying. It causes his mana to increase, him practicing this over and over again. Mana disappearance, and it's back. Somehow, this is just working out. I don't know. Are we just doing fucking workout? We're just extending just our muscles back and forth and back and forth, just doing this shit, and somehow we're just growing. The mana is a muscle. What the fuck? No, you can. In fact, the more you do it, the more you'll get stronger. Now, I wonder if there's an actual limit to this. But, holy shit. The more he practices, the more his mana grows. <gasps> well, I mean, uh, that sounds very obvious, right? Wow, who, who would have fucking thought that the more you practice, the more it grows? But, like, this is at a ridiculous rate. And I also thought that he already had, like, a cap of how much mana he had. He just didn't know how to tap into it. But it's like, no, it, it just keeps growing, growing. <laughs> Overflowing with demon kings again, dude. Remember that one time when he was walking to the fucking uh, the gates of the village and there was like five different demon kings around? It looked like he probably has like 10 behind him now. What's beyond the demon king? Wait, Megami class? We're on the same level as the goddess? In terms of mana? The demi plane expands as he gains mana. Another interesting mechanic. This 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 world that we have just keeps expanding more and more as he gets stronger. What the fuck? What's the mechanic? Crazy lore dump happening right now. The stars are changing? Did I... Understand that correctly? He is literally creating new stars, or he's influencing this demi plane so that we the other stars are more visible. I regardless, it's pretty fucking crazy, right? The way their placement and seasons are all mixed up makes sense too. Bad news? Ah, we're a threat. I'm fucking down. Let's go. Come on. Like, all right. The goal of the Sisuka is not to kill the demon lord. The goal might be to kill the goddess, which I'd be all for. The Can we win? Nah, I'd win. Obviously, even if the mana quality quantity is on the same level as the goddess, doesn't mean that we can immediately fight her and win. Because obviously, there are many different things impacted. But the boy just keeps growing, man. The boy just keeps fucking growing. Still haven't seen her eyes. That gear is never gonna be enough, though. Tomoe think it's horrifying. Because it's almost like we've been given powers directly from God himself. Again, there's a goddess and there's the God. And... It, it, it just feels like the goddess is responsible for this world and everything around it, the humans, but the god had no in, like an effect on that, right? The god just seems like this external entity that just kind of just chills and just gave us power, and now we're just fucking popping off. He did say, I'll give you my strongest powers, right? In the first episode or something like that? 
I never said the mana was given by the god. Attend. You know, if this is high school DXT, there'd be multiple moments of them doing, you know, therapy on us to suck out the mana, right? Surprised they haven't done that yet, but maybe Mio is about to now. Rejected again. Bro just goes to bed. Neglects Mio. You can't be just doing that. Tomo is now shitting on her. Yes, duh! He really doesn't have any love interest yet, huh? I mean, does Rimuru really have a love interest? Not really. Does other Isekai characters have a love interest? Does Kazuma have a love interest? Not, not really. He just keeps Kazuma. I don't. Does th there doesn't need to be a love interest? But Makoto just straight up doesn't really care for Mio or Tomoe. Does he care about Emma? Probably not in the same way. I don't know. He, he's just fucking chilling. He, he, this dude. I mean, we, he, he fucking rejected that one girl back on Earth, right? So he just a full giga chat. He just complete sigma. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> No, it's a real bag. Uh... The fuck was that? Someone threw the bag? It's a cat boy. Look, I still think that, like, like, I get it. The humans are super pretty, super good looking, right? But, like, I don't think Makoto is that different, you know, from the other humans we've seen. To be completely honest, I don't think he's that far off. But it's like, they can't make him super, super ugly. Because, like, you can't just have a completely ugly main character. It just does bad for marketing and sales if your main character is bad. Right? So, what I did kind of notice when looking at the Moonlight Fantasy, like, pictures and promos and posters like that... Makoto always did seem a little bit too average, right? He doesn't seem very flashy. He seemed like a very generic, average-looking dude. But, like, ugly? I, I don't think so. But if you look at these faces right now, like, overall facial structure, right? Maybe the eyes, but, like, it's not even ugly. It's not, it's, it's not even. Makoto's, like, a good, like, 6 out of 7 out of 10, in my opinion. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> Oh. Oh, <laughs> Mio and Tomoe was here, she'd be dead immediately. <laughs> Boing! <laughs> oh, oh, what the? They were always here! Wait. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, are we in trouble? <laughs> are we in trouble? <laughs> Go lash out on the girl that tried to seduce us! <laughs> Uh... No, nowhere, I guess. <laughs> no, we were not trying to pick her up. She was trying to pick us up. That was pretty fast. So you did see it, then why are you... Oh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> What is the problem? Why does he never get seduced by Mio or Tomoe, huh? Have you ever really thought about that? Like, they're clearly beauties. They're clearly better looking than that so-called prostitute back then. I just, but he's never really simp for any one of them. Nor has he ever looked at one with, like, lust. Or maybe there has been a couple scenes where it was like that. But bro, just because he has Emma, y'all are fucking wild and... Y'all are wild, and but Emma is... Oink, oink. Like friends? Like sisters? Are we... Do they get family zoned? Family zoned! Family zoned! Oh, that was cold. Oh. Consent? Where's the consent? 
Why am I asking for consent? They specifically did not give a fuck about his consent in like episode one or two for the contract. It doesn't matter. And the soundtrack right now it's playing is the fucking samurai uh, movie soundtrack whenever Tomoe starts talking about that shit. <laughs> Who's gonna save us from these titties? Oh my. Just a little, yeah? Last vicious undergarments. I think they're gonna start wearing lingerie for us now. Go ahead. Here we go. Emma, see Emma! <laughs> the inn has two floors, but he used the mist gate on the second floor, so he landed on a similar height of this fucking tree. Interesting mechanic, okay. I thought, I don't know, I thought if you open the mist plane, you just kind of walk in and you just, I don't know, you just fucking just walk into some random place, but okay. Yes. Can you connect the dots, Emma? Can you connect the dots? Hmm. What happened here? So I think she's reading between the lines and trying to not embarrass Makoto right now, right? That's what's happening, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, new armor that can contain... Oh my god, we got chains now. <laughs> we have so many rings! Alright, more battery, but... Is it enough? Because it keeps growing. Social events in combat? So like different aesthetic designs? Okay. Oh, what? Did you get some new lavish undergarments? Oh, you're sorry now? Did she go shopping? Did she already get the lingerie? Because she seems to have a misunderstanding there. Family zoned. Uh, now what? You're going to show me the lingerie or what? What? Oh, wait, she changed. She changed. She changed. Yeah, I'm kind of worried if Mio goes by herself because sometimes I feel like she just doesn't understand. Oh. She is cute like this too, though. But sometimes she does shit and I'm like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? You're a monster. And I realized she is a monster. All right, maybe we're going to see the elf archers, the two sisters. Okay, regular party members. Oh, she got free. All she had to do was fucking lift it. CGI. That was kind of... This spider... <laughs> Look at this. Oh no! It's so sticky! I can't do anything! And the only person with a brain here realizes that... What, what if I just... Lift it up. Huh? Oh, oh no! What am I gonna... What am I gonna... Oh, 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 oh wait, I can just do that. So, so is this further... Am I reading too deep into this? Or are they just kind of reiterating the fact that these humans are fucking dumb? They're just dumb as fuck. They're just dumb as a brick because no education system. And hopefully I like to think that stupidity and beauty are, you know, vanity. You know, that's what the goddess loves. I don't know. <laughs> CGI flowers? Ambrosia stuff? Okay. Huh? Right, he has two sisters. <laughs> Let's hold handsies. <laughs> Dude, Mio's getting straight up fucking little sister zone now. Alright. Actually, she might break her fucking arm if we do that. Well, then again, Makoto is pretty durable now. Alright. Cute little hand holding walk scene. Oh, oh. Oh, she's pissed off. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What if she just kills him immediately? That would be so fucking shocking. Like, you fucking dare interrupt my time walking with him right now. Humans, they call us, huh? Mio, careful. Careful. We mean no harm, says Makoto, as Mio was so close to letting her inner thoughts come out and just fucking kill them immediately. Uh oh, there's a timer. <laughs> oh, that's how long the walk lasted? <laughs> oh, the adventurers! This is a three way. What's going on? <laughs> you are so dumb. Like. Yeah, they are. 
All right, if she's gonna antagonize herself, let's go. We can just fuck them up instead. Yes, you can eat the humans instead. Go do it. Red Lotus. Oh, cause she was here before investigating. This girl's way too fucking quirky, dude. She she is literally just schizo just barking to herself and she's saying the god just told me about it. She the intro scene was a little sus on the things that she was doing. Just random acts of quirkiness. It's like, okay, okay, I guess she's about that. Yes, she is really about that. The god. Never mind. She says things really in a funny way too. I like her, she's fun. It's life or <laughs> her spell is called death or die. <laughs> Just die or die. <laughs> All right. Death or die with the magical girl pose. You beat it yourself, bitch. And what the? Oh my god, she's so dumb, dude. I thought she looked fucking familiar. I didn't realize. I was, I was gonna make a comment saying she looks like the prostitute, but it wouldn't have really made sense. So I guess. The escort service work is, doesn't pay enough, so she has to fucking be an adventurer, too. <laughs> Alright, his name is Eris. Makoto is the small- No, it's them. Never mind. <laughs> Deserved! Oh, Jesus. I think the fact that this defensive Kai or, or the Kai around him can, like, move with him is one of the most broken things. I really thought the restriction of that would be, like, limited to where he's standing and he, and it, it, he can't use it when moving, but holy shit, that's crazy. <laughs> yes. Using it while using mana ceiling. God. I want you to pop off though! Hello, Mr. Skeleton from Overlord. What a fucking cliffhanger out of nowhere. So I guess we can kind of anticipate him to show up pretty soon, right? In the anime opening, have we seen him? I feel like I've seen like poster pictures or at least in the opening. Yeah, right over here, right? So he does exist. But like we only have how many episodes left? We have like three episodes left, so maybe he will show up throughout this last arc, but interesting setup. This episode did not go the way I expected. The first half was a lot of plot dump, right? One of the most interesting things is that Makoto's powers, what really are they? We don't really know. We know that the god gave him some powers. We know that he can do archery back on Earth, but seemingly his mana is fucking crazy. Why? Because he's a Isekai main character? I don't really know, and it just keeps growing the more he practices. Why? Because... The more that he focuses, he just like disappears and it's like concealing with the mana to the point they think it's like self-suicide. So that when he comes back, somehow this is like a Zenkai boost like Dragon Ball Z shit. I don't really know. We're just basically flexing our mana muscles, I guess, and it just keeps growing and growing. And then the demiplane is expanding and expanding. The fucking terraform, like the stars are fucking changing. Bro is becoming god of this world. It's fucking kind of insane. And now the goddess, if she realizes, she will wage war against us, which is perfect. Because I actually want to fight her in the future. Who really knows when that was going to happen? And then we go back into... <laughs> no, we did fan service. <laughs> we did more fan service. And, and then finally, this last like four minutes of the episode, no, like three minutes. This, this is the main shit. The last three minutes of the episodes was what I thought the majority of this episode was going to be. But basically these dumbass humans, they can, they can take all the ambrosia for themselves, not realizing that Mio wants to fucking kill them. And these two elf sisters? She's kind of funny. She says a lot of random quirky shit in a very funny way. I it, it took a little bit of time to get used to her, but I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun kind of just like laughing at her jokes and random quirks in the future. Hopefully she joins us in the future. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist, playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.